Oh my god, are we live? Yeah, we are live. All right, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I I've been on chat for a while, Dargo. I saw you singing that earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello everybody. I uh, I've got to be honest. I've got a really busy day again. Boots wants to do balance with boots, which means I've got like four different things to do. So I don't know what this stream will be like, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. I've just been recording and editing back to back, and I'm a bit stressed out actually. Uh, trying to get squeeze everything in. So I don't know how things will really go today. Uh, I also desperately need the toilet and I have for about two hours and I'm gonna go now. So uh, Stream starting go get your coffee and stuff. I will uh, be right back and we'll figure out what we want to do I do have a very fun idea involving old lion's arch and just cool stuff to talk about So uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. It's great to see you all and uh, hopefully I can do a good show for you um, I know we had to do a short one yesterday, so I feel really guilty if this one's bad as well but uh, we'll have to see. Okay, guys, uh, see you soon. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, how's it? Yeah, the the song is "Land of the Golden Sun" from Nightfall. I don't actually know the song track, but I trust that uh, uh, MMO shards is correct about that. It's, it's, they're probably right. It's definitely a Nightfall song, and it's a very iconic one. And "Land of the Golden Sun" is definitely like the main thing. What was the login screen? I should change that intro, shouldn't I? Because I I really I'm. It's dawning on me for. 
As long as I'm streaming, I will always be answering that question, won't I? I mean, it literally every single time. It's it's not a real login screen. It's a video that is a fake based off of what was once upon a time a real loading screen from when the game came out. Welcome to person 1240 who's now asked that question. We will continue. I mean, that's such a... It, it's so annoying that you can't just say something and then the whole universe knows. <laughs> what, what? Is that too much to ask? Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want to go check. So apparently you can play it with Mox in your home instance. So I kind of want to go see now uh, what that's like. Because I've never actually done that. So let's go see. <clears throat> it's, it's amazing I keep track. Yeah, I mean, it's just simple maths. There's like one at least probably two for every stream we do so we just take our total stream count and go well he's totally spoke to me there i don't remember him ever really speaking by your commands do you have any music uh so let me turn the music up and let you let you guys hear here so right now we're just listening to generic music um the garden of sabor in the northern wall there you go the golden sun ready initiating music playback <laughs> Yeah, there it is. That's it. That's the song. So yeah, there you go. That's probably the, how they know the track name because actually it's right there in game. Uh, so yeah, not too shabby. I'm going to spam F on all my stuff because I haven't done it for ages while we just say hello. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm a bit stressed today. I, I probably shouldn't be and I shouldn't worry too much. But... Um, once again, the audiobooks aren't going to be this week because it's Monday already, and I have no idea how it's Monday already, but I haven't had time to do the audiobooks, so I've got to figure out some way of slotting those in. Um, I've spent all day again on the Let's Play, but it's only because it's such a big uh, big episode. I'm getting a bit annoyed at the moment because like, I'm, I'm dedicating whole days to like doing it as perfectly as I can, and uh, I don't know, the community is at the point where people are like, why aren't you doing news videos and stuff? So I'm like, yeah, I've got to do a news video. So I've got to find a way to get some time to do that. Especially because tomorrow we might have a trailer. And the second the trailer drops, we've got all of that stuff going on. So I need to talk about the Guild Wars 1 AFC, the Guild Wars 1 FOV update. Touch on all the Guild Wars 2 updates that have gone through. And Boots wants to do Boots Bad Builds today. And I've got this stream to do today. So I'm just a bit frazzled, really. Um, so I don't know whether I want to make this a full-on, yay, Path of Fire playthrough thing. Because... I'm not going to be able to dedicate myself to it properly and we won't talk about everything thoroughly enough and we won't go far enough in it. So instead, we will do some POF stuff, but uh, we'll probably hang around the desolation and play with some things. Uh, I'll probably get that mastery point that I realized I don't have yet. Uh, and I'll show you some other stuff uh, involving Old Lion's Arch, which I talked about on a previous stream and I did some testing of last night, which actually worked. And people who have watched last night's video uh, of the series will know exactly what it is I'm about to show off. Uh, which is kind of cool. But we'll gather all of this first and just uh, see how everyone's doing. So well, how has your Monday been treating you guys? Oh, yeah, and and the World Cup where England are playing when this stream normally ends at 7 o'clock. It should be England, uh, Tunisia, which I also really kind of want to watch. Um, though I don't see how it's possible I'll watch that because Boots wants to record, so I don't know, really. But, yeah. Um... Uh, the, the audiobooks aren't that hard with the SFX and the music, really, because, like, you can just do... So, like, I recorded the cave. I, I mean, I appreciate the thought there, Dargo, but, like, I you know, I, I recorded that cave thing. I went to Sharkmore Cabins in Lion's Arch, and I recorded that. That took me maybe 20 minutes to do that. And then that cave audio was good for the first five chapters of the book. And then I spent maybe 10 minutes recording Divinity's Reach, and that's good for the other chapters I've done. So the audio isn't that bad. ArenaNet made the audio. ArenaNet did all of the stuff, really. I just have to capture a little bit and then have it in the background. Um, this is rather rare. So it sounds like it's that that site as always the things pe the things that look like they're hard aren't actually what's hard about making videos Like a lot of things people are like oh that's godly editing. It's not really hard That's not actually the time sink most of the things that make good content good Statistically speaking is this is, is prep rare. based stuff that it's kind of so like m Time practicing what each voice would sound like is what 
takes ages, really. And re read the chapter once, then read it again, and then the third time where you actually have it, and then, you know, doing do-overs and stuff. That's the stuff that actually takes a while, but none of you would know any of that, because that's all, like, preparation-oriented. Um, but yeah, anyway. It, it's a fun series. I, I mean, the thing with the audiobooks is, I don't need great viewership on them. I really don't. It's disappointing that I don't get it, but I don't need it because I'm, I just genuinely enjoy reading the books. I want to read the books again, and if I can read them out loud, that's, that's a, a bonus, right? So, I do want to do them. It's just... I can't... I'm already doing the Let's Play, which is like a terrible, terrible idea. In the... It's not what everyone wants to see. They want to just... They want me to just spam current events things that have no stay in power after they've been released. That's what the, the, commun the audience wants. Uh, so, I'm already doing that with the LP. I can't do two passion projects at once, is what I'm saying, basically, so... It's just, it's just checking check me up. And Mondays just feel really busy. I don't know. I think Mondays always feel really busy because I do three streams leading into Monday. And then Monday is one of the stream days as well. So it's three days in a row where I have to juggle having less time for what I want to do. And it kind of just, yeah. So Monday's where it all comes to a head. And then Stupid England have to be played on Monday as well. But yeah. Oh, you guys going to do an AT? That sounds cool. Good luck in there. I hope you do well. Oh, yeah, the baubles. I haven't grabbed these for ages. I missed my berries as well. And I've got the bandit chest over there. I wonder if I have any of those keys. We'll see. <clears throat> Which one's my favorite book? Sea of Sorrows. But the thing is, I haven't ever finished Sea of Sorrows. So it's a very weird thing for me to say. And you don't have to respect that opinion at all. But Re was just much better at writing for the universe. She just was. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's her baby. It's her passion project. Uh, and you know, she, she could write dialogue, she could do interesting expository, uh, you know, passages that talked about the world and what was exciting about the world. Uh, I also just think, um, re reset her book in a, t a point in the timeline that still feels very original Guild Wars because it's so human centric. Now the other races are in it and you get that Guild Wars 2 flavor. But if you were ever looking at, uh, if you were ever looking for what it feels like, uh, setting-wise, the midpoint between Guild Wars One and Two, re rewrote that for you. That she, her, the Sea of Sorrows book is is genuinely really good for that because it feels very human-oriented. But oh, you still get the Asura there, and you still get the Norn, and you still get the 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 Char, and but you know you have passages like. Kabaya Mariner talking about how Char is just mindless beasts that like to eat meat, and he doesn't. There's nothing else to them to Kabaya because you know he's 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 an ignorant human from all this time ago where all they've been taught to do is hate and not really learn from one another and you get that so it still feels like Guild Wars 1 in so many ways but it also gets that mid ground of Guild Wars 2 stuff Re Re's book was really good for that um so uh so yeah I don't know it's my favorite but I never finished it I, I never finished the goddamn thing we'll see uh as time goes forward were Guild Wardens in Guild Wars 1 Mordrum? No, there was no such thing as a Mordrum. Well, the devs of Guild Wars 2, when we go to Cantha, can be like, yeah, they were. And they can draw that bridge. There's nothing they said that says they can't have been Mordrum. Uh, there's nothing that says they can't have been a variety of Silvari. There's nothing that says that those things couldn't happen. But Guild Wars 1 never expressly pointed out. Just type Warden in the Guild Wars 1 wiki and you'll see the lore we got for them. Uh, which is quite precise and like they have a different culture and stuff and like they name each other after seasons and things and weather and whatever and like seashells and stuff, but um there's, there's space there. There's absolutely space there. So it's pretty cool. Why do I get mails every time I start streaming? Pay at the door What is oh, this is about uh, the guild. This is so weird. That was an hour ago. Actually. I'll respond to that person later It feels like streaming is good for the guild <laughs> The afflicted with dragon minions all along. I don't know whether the devs should do that, to be honest. That wouldn't excite me very much. But, uh... Alright, okay. So, guys. I've got something fun I want to show you. I'm a little... A tiny... Now, saying that I'm a little bit scared is going to have you guys... Kick, kick, kicking up a fuss and in a tizzy. Because you're all, like, ultra... I mean, people go off the deep end. When you start talking to the general public about this kind of stuff. But I, I seriously don't think this is a big deal. But I'm a little, 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 little bit scared of what I'm about to show you. 
in that it is a bit of a weird way to play with Guild Wars 2 engine-wise and stuff, and does start to fall a little bit out of the realm of correct consumer usage. Let's put it that way. I'm a tiny little bit scared. Um, but I do want to show you something anyway, so let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, how did the no skill challenge go? Really well. Uh, the end was actually really fun. Turns out it's quite an interesting encounter if you're not allowed to use any skills. <laughs> and you just have to let AI beat beat something up. It's kind of fun. Um, God, our frames are so bad streaming. Get out of there. Right, so I'm loading up setting the stage. This is the uh, Lion's Arch instance where you meet with your mentors and whatnot at the courtyard. And... Um, you know, you do your thing and, and they all argue and have their spat. Uh, and so we got the sepia tone. We come straight in and we go post-processing and we turn it off. So we get original Lion's Arch colors. And luckily the day-night cycle is at a place where it's day right now as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, Lion's Arch looks nice at night, but it's not Lion's Arch really to me. Uh, I'm on wiki right now typing day and night. Just to see when the cycle... Oh, day just started. That's perfect. That's so cool. All right. So, uh, here we are in old LA. And it's it, it's nice, you know. Like, we get to explore. We can uh, drop down. There's a surprising number of things that you can actually do here. And the devs did all right populating this central area with some NPCs. So, you can see some crabs around. Um, you know, you can see some, cre some... Some of them you can even speak to, you know. Uh, like, there's a citizen down here. Uh, and at any point in these areas, like here there's two workers, I could go first person and, you know, I could record this and it's like, oh look, we're back in old LA, you know, it's like the updates never happened and it's good, you know, and it's very easy to find, the, I mean, I think this is a pretty cool shot, honestly, I really do, uh, the, the archway boat up there and, you know, the colours here are really good. Uh, so we could just wander out and we can use this in the Let's Play or any project we might have to uh, present the illusion that we're back in Lion's Arch for, for the sake of intros, outros, all of that kind of stuff, you know. You get my drift. Um, but the big downside, of course, is revealed via the minimap. And that's that we only get a slice of Lion's Arch. There are other instances that let you travel to other areas of LA, like the next Order of Whispers one lets us go to the bank or whatever. But most other instances that let you go to other areas of old LA are like um, uh, filled with risen or the, the, the effects in the area are different or the buildings are on fire and it's not really old LA. And they're not very big slices either. This is one of the biggest slices you get that's central to the sea. So this gives you a lot of opportunity to wander around and see what's going on. Uh, obviously, most of the dialogue you get, ambient dialogue and stuff doesn't trigger. It's all oriented around the meeting of Destiny's Edge when you speak to Zodger and that lot. But there's a bit going on. Um, so it's a good instance. I think you get the entirety of the mansion as well. Uh, with populated NPCs, you can actually speak to Lawson Mariner. Again, there's no ambient dialogue. Back in the day, there used to be a lot here. And there'd probably be even more NPCs you can speak to. But you can actually come all the way up here. Uh, and, you know, this is great. Um, there's a lot going on here. You can look out across the bridge. You can come up here. All the way up here. It's a bit like the guild initiative. You've got these uh, Asura all the way up here. And uh, you can even come out to the top onto this balcony, right? And, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of shots that you could get from this. But let's say we miss... Uh, the old gate hub plaza. So over this bridge here, there is... Well, there's the main gate hub over there. At launch, the devs also had this gate hub filled with other Asura gates. And clearly the idea was they were going to expand the world and the other Asura gates would open up and unlock uh, access back to Lion's Arch. What's amazing, number one, is first of all, the updates never did that. We, they didn't add new areas like that. But what's perhaps even more incredible is when they have expanded the world, finally, through expansions, they never did it. The, the Asura don't build an Asura gate in, say, Tarir. 
uh, which would connect to this plot hub. The Asura don't build an Asura gate in Am Noon, which would connect to that. I don't know why the devs are so, like, bereft of inspiration to do that. I think that's a cool idea. But at some point, they decided that that was completely out of scope now, and it was going to be impossible. So uh, this entire thing got deleted. The idea of a secondary hub plaza doesn't exist in Lion's Arch anymore. And can you see these Asura gates with these lines through them? It's like, oh, what, what magical ideas did they have? In Old Lion's Arch, you could walk over there. You could speak to NPCs. They'd tell you about the gates being in work and progress and blah, blah, blah. But now you can never go there because this is as close as you can get in any instance. And if you walk any further, it says you are leaving the instance area. Return to the instance where you'll be kicked. If I keep testing it, if I keep te oh, we get kicked. So then you might wonder, well, how then, would of Potatoes, did you in last night's episode of the Let's Play get a very clear, very blatant, high FOV, Guild Wars 2 hook, 2018 shot of that Asura Gate hub? How did you do it? Because indeed I did. If you go to look at that video, it's in the first couple of seconds. Um, I have the hub. This loaded screen is so long. My God, I've run out of things to say now. And the flow of my conversation is broken. So we're just going to have to wait. The idea of a super easy way to get from Amnoon to LA kind of breaks the refugee story. Well, no, I, I, I get what you're, coming to say, what you're saying, but I'd actually go even further to say because of the refugee story, it makes sense that they'd build in a surrogate there, doesn't it? It, it? it almost blows my mind that they didn't establish that whatsoever. And they've, you know, the game, the world has to update to some developments, you know. Did I just get a donation? Are you serious? Camera hacks. No, I have not hacked the game in any way. That I would never do, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hack Guild Wars 2 and I'm going to blatantly go online and talk about it. And ruin what is essentially my career and everything I've spent my adult life building. Yeah, yeah, good, good one, guys. Uh, Dargosian. Thank you. Oh, Darg, seriously? Here's to last week's insane streams, you crazy Maguma Bell. I DM'd you on Discord about the super edit. Did you really? Oh, my God. And you gave me £20. Dude, that's so cool. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I will have a look. I haven't looked at Discord for a while. I will definitely have a look. I, I, you were here a second ago and I said how busy I've been. So I might not today. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Thank you, man. Okay, so here's the idea. When you're lagging in this game, uh, basically, if I just stand still like this, I'm not uploading anything to Guild Wars, basically. Maybe I'm a little bit, but you're not really uploading anything. When you use WAS and D, you're now sending packets to them to see, like, uh, so that the serve can update your position. So here's the funny thing. This message saying you are leaving the inst instance return. This appears when the server detects that we've walked here. But if you're lagging, the server struggles to know where you are. And it doesn't know to give you this, this message. And it doesn't know to kick you out. So if you're lagging, you can't use any skills. You can't speak to any NPCs. You can't claim any loot. You can't interact with the game in any way at all that would remotely be of any advantage to anyone ever because there's, there's no connection. It doesn't, doesn't work. You know, you, it's literally impossible to do anything malicious with it. But uh, you can just sort of wander around. This was true in Guild Wars 1 as well. Uh, in Guild Wars 1, if you were lagging and you wandered far away, you'd suddenly realize that all the NPCs had disappeared and it was like, what was going on? And then you type slash stuck and realize you'd rubber banded a million miles away and it would port you back to where the server thought you were. So, um, basically, if you're lagging, you, this message doesn't come up and you can just wander around. So, um, so that's what I did to get there. So, there's all kinds of different ways you can slow your upload down. It doesn't involve editing or modifying or touching Guild Wars in any way. It's just how you use your ethernet adapter um so i'll show you what it looks like uh if we go over there and then i'll tell you what 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 what, what we're gonna do that's fun about this with the stream so let me uh turn this on here you got soft locked in a shining blade instance and you type slash stuck and it made you more stuck okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tell guild was that it can only uh that it can only put, give ArenaNet um, 
what do we say? Half a kilobyte a second. Okay? So, Guild Wars is going to still be giving ArenaNet. It's still going to be updating, but it's going to go really slowly. So, it'll take a while for the server to realize where I am. So, in that time, so I go now. Now, I can't use any skills anymore, as you can see. But we can just wander around. Now, we could never do anything out here. And what would happen is we'd just teleport back to the thing. But we can walk uh, to where we started or get kicked out as soon as the server realized that our position's changed. But yeah, we could just wander around and uh, basically go out of bounds. When I turn the UI off, you'd never know that we're out of bounds or anything. And we can do stuff. But uh, you will still sometimes get kicked. So I don't know what the perfect like amount to send them is. Uh, before the the message comes through, but basically you can get just out of bounds and do something, and then you can. Um, there we go. So we've been kicked, and I have to give it. I have to turn the internet back on for it now. Uh, oh, I hope this actually works now. I may have balls this up. I suppose because it turned off. Hopefully, it will work just fine. <clears throat> Let me see here. There, let me do. Let me try like that. That should be fine. Uh, yeah, so um, that's basically the idea. So you could do that in any personal story instance that is showing an old version of an area. So you could do that in Timberline Falls as well. And in Timberline Falls, uh, you would get... I, I don't really think anything interesting would change there, but it's an idea. Or you could do it in the other story instances that... Um, like have your hub as a different area of Lion's Arch and then that would give you other stuff. I am writing this to remark on how awesome WP is. That is all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mo about to headbutt WP from South. I mean, uh, here's the other thing. People have not... It, it, I haven't discovered this. Let me just be clear. This is just like obvious. Everyone's lagged in the game. Everyone knows that you can walk out of bounds when you're lagging. Everyone knows it doesn't mean anything. Um... And again, I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, like, like I described it before, it's kind of out, kind of out of the bounds of good consumer practice with the game. But, like, it's not malicious in any way. And I can't, I actually, I can't conceive of any way it would ever be malicious. Oh, the one thing I can imagine is if someone does it, I just don't know. I don't think it's a problem. Like, the game, obviously MMOs are built to handle if someone lags and I don't know. And besides, this is all I want to use it for, just to shoot footage of things. Uh, so, I had an idea uh, based on the title. If you guys remember, there's a jumping puzzle in Lion's Arch. And the jumping puzzle starts up on this boat here, which is just out of range. Just a, just a little bit out of range. Just a little bit. So... What I want to do is see if I can complete the jumping puzzle. Now, this is an old jumping puzzle that is basically impossible to access and play in Guild Wars 2. It's Troll's Secret. Uh, and basically, what you have to do is climb up to this, this bar up here, which has not been available since 2014 when the city got destroyed. So you've got to find a way to get up there. Then you've got to jump into this uh, this building here. This ho this building is hollow. The only way into this building is to fall into it. So any new Guild Wars 2 players won't know about this because it's, it's not been a thing for years. But if you can get up there, you can fall into this hollow thing. You fall into a pipe. You go into some water. And then you can swim like behind the caves somewhere. And you've got this whole jumping puzzle you can do. I want to see if it's possible to do that. Uh, via this technique. Just because I think it, yeah, the, the Mario reference and whatnot. So last night I did get up to the bar, but I think it's kind of RNG on when I'll be kicked. I'd love a way to be able to just not ever get kicked. What you should understand is the kicking thing is client side. Whatever the kick thing is, it's like some timer that kicks in and it's like it's a client side thing. So I don't quite know how that would work. Um, but uh, yeah, we can try it. You remember RPing in that bar. Both parts of that statement are out of date. You, role playing is out of date and the bar is out of date? What do you mean? You used to farm that puzzle on your guardian to get silver doubloons. I used to farm this one to get silver doubloons all the time. Um, yeah, this is old LA that we're in right now. Okay. So, I'm just scrolling through chat to see if I've missed anything. 
All right, so let's try it. Let's see how far we can get. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to start here. Like right on the boundary. Yeah. And then... We're going to limit... All right, let's just try it this way, okay? Okay, so three. I'm going to turn on super speed as well. Just because, hey, maybe that'll help. Go. All right, because I don't think this can turn off now, can it? No, it can. All right, we're, we're leaving. We're going. We're on our way. So we got we got to get up here. we got to go quick. So we're going to come up, up this uh, staircase. Then we're going to come up here. Oh, what? We never made it anywhere. What? Oh, come on. That's so lame. We hardly touch it. I got much further than that before. Why is this reminding me of Event Horizon? WP gonna punch a hole in reality and demons will come out. That was awful. We didn't make it anywhere. Let's try that again. Get back in. I got really far before. Guild Wars 1, Amnoon was just a bunch of tents. Yeah, like, the Amnoon Oasis in the original game was just a, a, a poo hole, really. It's amazing that the Amnoon Oasis come Guild Wars 2 became as great as it was. Will the server let you get back in bounds if the only way to do it is to go far out of bounds? What do you mean? Well, when I was originally thinking of doing this, I thought that the boat, the bar boat, I thought that was in a legal area for the instance, but... That to get up to it, you had to go out of bounds. So the whole reason why I even thought of this the other... Well, I thought of it a while ago, actually. But I tested it for the first time last night. Um, the whole reason I was doing this, because I thought, oh, you could... You could lag and climb up to the bar and then stop lagging. And you'd be fine, because you'd be on the bar, but you'd be in a place that's otherwise impossible to reach. And then you could jump down the pipe and stuff. It was only later that I realized that's not a thing at all, because unfortunately... The, uh, the bar is out of bounds. So here, look, the, the, I thought that the bar was, like, above us here. And you could get to it. But you, So you'd lag, 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 stop lagging when you get back up. Except you're now really high and then jump down. That's what I thought it was. But the bar's actually back here. So it's all out of bounds. The hole's here and then you go all the way over there or something. I can't remember. I've not been there for years. Um, so that didn't work. Okay, so let's try. I, guys, I'm not going to do anything remotely, like, dodgy. I'm literally just uh, going to slow down my internet via perfectly legitimate, normal use case scenarios for a PC. I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to interact with Guild Wars in any way. Uh, all right, let's try. Let's try giving it point one and see what happens there. Ready? Go. We're off. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta walk as tightly as possible. God, I think I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I think I went a really long route this time. My bad, I went the wrong way. This is not good. Look at the crafting stations, though. I don't think there's. Oh no, there are some instances to take you here. It's just terrible. Yeah, if you. Oh, it stopped again. I think it's. I think it's impossible. I don't know why, but today it's so much worse. What? So is Terrier 3D that? Well, Terrier 3D is. Guys, Terrier 3D is very powerful and impressive and interesting. But it is nothing like the actual game. At all. This is the weirdest speedrun ever. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I'm being silly. I, I somehow had it yesterday, though. That I, I had a really, really long window. You use this technique to explore beyond the path of fire beta boundaries. Yeah, Tipsy Seraph. There you go. People did it for the betas as well. I remember. You have to give yourself super speed. They watch. Listen, if anyone was watching, I don't know why they try and poo-poo on our fun here. Because obviously, it's not it's not meaningful in any way. It's not like we're doing anything that... It's literally just like, hey, you don't get to see this jumper puzzle. The speed buff might actually be bad since it's another survey update that's not going to... I don't know what that means or whether that actually makes any sense. But I will try once more. I'll try something else here. Um, I really wanted to at least get to the bridge. We're, we're not even making it up the stairs right now. I mean, how sad is that? Um, uh, 
I don't know. Let's try that. Along with that. Alright, go. We're off. Oh, we don't even have the message this time. Wow. We don't have the message? That's kind of strange. Okay. I'm going. JP has secrets to everything. Complete it to become king. I'm not going an efficient route. This is the problem. Oh, hitting the water seems really bad. I don't know. Alright, I guess I give up. I guess I give up. Rocket boots. What do you mean no internet connection? I have internet. I have internet. What do you mean? I do. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's it, guys. There we go. We're in. Wow. Don't give up. Question mark. Well, I don't know what else I, I can do now. There used to be, for what it's worth, another way you could do this and you could stall cutscenes is if you played in windowed mode, you could right click, you know the bar you get at the top of a window, in windows, to manipulate it, you know, you click and drag and you move the whole thing around, the application around or whatever. That, if you, if you played Guild Wars 2 in windowed mode and you right clicked that bar that, atop, that appears at the top of the, the window, if you, you, what that would do is just freeze your client and if you did that in the middle of a side-by-side -side cutscene, you could, in perpetuity, hold that side-by-side -side cutscene forever. And people would do that in dungeons and stuff to, like, allow their team to get in position to wherever a boss would spawn or something. And then you could blow the boss up. Um, and, you know, things, things like that. But it was kind of a dangerous thing. Well, not dangerous, but an annoying thing for the game. Because what it would mean is any player in a pug run of a dungeon could do that. And you could stall the dungeon forever and convince everyone that it was bugged just because you were never leaving the cutscenes. So the scripts for everything else wouldn't fire because it waits for all players to leave the cutscenes. Do you get what I mean? Um, yeah, you can't use skills. All I could do is rocket boots like forward at the start. But you can't use skills. Uh, people are expecting a trailer tomorrow. So uh, hopefully there, there will be one. Hopefully. Um... I will try one more thing. I can't remember what I was really doing before. We'll give him one a second. All right, let's go. We're sending one. I mean, the other thing you can do is give them a lot of data, but limit the packets. No, that didn't work at all. That was terrible. All right. It's over. It's over. The plan is done. So there you go. That's uh, that's how I got some shots for the thing yesterday. This is the the, the effort we have to go to it through because they destroyed Lion's Arch and don't let us explore it properly anymore. Why are you sending anything at all? Well, because uh, if you do not, if you give them nothing, then like a client side timer starts that just says, all right, in three, two, one, you've lost connection and it kicks you out. Uh, so if you send them a tiny bit, you can stop that client side timer going, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know really. I mean, this is literally a bit of testing I did last night, but that, that's the theory. Yeah, basically just trying to get further in the restricted zone. I wonder what people did with the Path of Fire betas to be able to uh, do that without getting kicked at all. I'd really love to know what that is, but oh well. Uh, I guess my, my uh, I'm too caveman-like to know. Is the client t side timer just a send queue? I have no idea. You'd have to, if someone can answer that in chat, then they can, but there you go. All right, uh, well, that, that that burnt some time there, didn't it? What else we got going on? Well, I kind of wanted to do more POF, so let's just go play some POF. I've got some pineapple here as well. All right. Hmm. Wait, that actually happens... With the intro cutscene after character creation, the music continues, but the character stops talking, and the cutscene isn't running at all. Huh, where? Really? I imagine if the client sends its message, but never receives a boot one, it just keeps going. I don't know. I can mess with the download or upload. I can turn it off or throttle it and have it at a certain speed, whatever. You can do that, but there's no combination I know that actually works very well. By the way, is Launch Buddy officially allowed by ArenaNet? I think there was an official post about it. Don't ask me. Go to the wiki. Go to Launch Buddy and see what they say. Why would you rely on a random streamer for that information? Just Google it. I think it's okay, though. Sorry, yeah, pineapple chunks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
delicious sugary syrupy sweet pineapple chunks sorry It's not an explicit boot that kicks you, it's the lack of a small instant server with the right key to continue to connect to. I mean, that may as well be double dutch to me, but... Uh, all I know is sometimes it gets you quicker and sometimes it gets you slower. And yesterday it was certainly so getting me a little slower. I never thought I'd be rooting for them. Suddenly, they don't seem like such a threat compared to the Forged. When I joined, the idea of guarding the Mouth of Torment seemed so abstract. We're certainly living in interesting times. Sorry, okay. Look, I've eaten three chunks. <clears throat> this is what I'm having to do. I have to squeeze my bathroom break and my food for the day into the middle of a stream today. <laughs> it's okay, we're doing it. You had spam and pineapple fried rice last night. Pineapple fried rice. That sounds amazing. That sounds really crazy. Um, right, so what do we want to do in the desolation? That's not quite the story, but does give us more stuff about the desolation. The meta to do the, the assault we did several times when POF came out. All right, I want the mastery point. I at least want that. Look, I've never had this mastery point, so let's figure this one out, shall we? You have to collect a lot of stuff, if I remember rightly. So let's see. Um, let's go this way. Uh, is it a law book? No, it's like you gotta kill, like, devourers and stuff, if I remember rightly. I'm gonna do this because I want more forged kills for the achievement. And also, hey, events are easy, so. Because we're a spellbreaker and we're OP as all hell, see? Basically, press F2 and win. That's the spell break away. Do it again. Oh, look. They all got interrupted. Oh, he involved. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think we took more damage to retail there than anything else. You're interested in that too because you can figure out... I remember how what it is. It's just on this plateau. It's, it's not hard to get to. I got you. Take him out. <clears throat> oh, I don't have sword on. It's still mace. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, it's up here. So basically, you speak to this person. I think you need to kill harpies or something, don't you? Or Neil, or... It's definitely this. You gotta, like, light it up or something. Oh, I thought it actually worked there, but we... But it was just earth elementals we'd summon. Let's see what the ghosts say. Sandstream Shrine. Greetings, my friend. Have you come to honor the Sun Spears? Yes, what should I do? You should speak with Devard. Pay respects to his resting place and he will appear. Inside the circle of torches just up the hill. Stand on the icon of the sun and show a sign of respect. Do we re salute, maybe? Let's see if it's a salute. That's a sign of respect, isn't it? Let's see. <clears throat> Such might for great justice. We're on this. Salute. There he is. First Spear Devard. From Guild Wars 1, of course. Greetings, I'm First Spear Devard. It's good to see a friendly face again. Uh, we don't get too many visitors here. What is this place? My ashes are laid to rest here with those of my fellow Sun Spears. You were cremated? All Sun Spears are cremated. We refuse to be awakened to fight for Joko. I wonder if they were cremated in GW1. Probably not. I'd like to honor the Sun Spears. What can I do? The greatest way to honor our memories is to continue our duties by keeping alone and safe from threats. Defeat our enemies and bring proof of your deeds. What kind of threats? There are three scourges that pose a grave threat to Alonans. The Awakened, the Harpies, and the Devourers. The Awakened, of course. Yes, our oldest and most hated foe. Thinning their numbers has always been our highest priority. Collect a pristine Awakened emblem from them and bring it to me. Harpies? The Scree Harpies are regaining strength in the Sulphur Quarry in the Boundary Preserve. They can't be allowed to gain a foothold. Collect a pristine Scree Harpy Feather and bring it to me. And lastly, Devourers? With so many pressing matters, small things can fall through the cracks. The Devourers, if allowed to multiply, could threaten all of Alona, thin their numbers and bring me a fang. So, across my characters and all my POF playtime, I'm pretty sure I have had all these items. I just haven't delivered them all correctly on the same tune. So, I don't know 
I mean, mastery system, everybody. I don't know what I still need on this because it's not actually a collection, is it? Or is it? I wonder. Maybe, maybe it actually is. Let's see. Um, mastery insights? No, that's for Quarteria. Path of Fire. Mastery insights. Well, I've done all of these. Was it one of these? Uh, the desolation. Honoring, but bow at Sanshun Shrine to summon Devard and collect medals for him, completing his task. So we already got the awakened emblem. We got to get a scree harpy feather and a devourer of fang. Now the funny thing is, oh my God, can you guys stop, please? I'm trying to go to Wiki now. If I go to Guild Wars to uh, efficiency, I might just find I have these items on some of my characters. So let's see. We might be able to just deposit them across multiple tombs. So I used the two there going for Fury, but then grossly overestimated its range. Okay, so I'm just... Oh, Path of Fire's got such a problem with his combat music. It's so loud and obnoxious and ridiculous for the tiniest little fights. Okay, um... Pristine. Scree. That should be enough. Yeah, okay, all right, so azurix has got one. So hold on, let me go. So remember, I played POF first with a new character, Azuric of Parathia, if you remember. Where is he? It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Azuric, no! Where are you, Azuric? Am I insane? Oh, no, here he is. This is him. It's just he's wearing a lichy thing. I don't know why. Oh, this was when I was testing my Necrelomancer uh, concept. Wait, are we on the Necrelomancer right now or are we on Azuric? I was playing a Condi Scepter, Ellie. Is this Necrelomancer? No, it's Azuric. All right, never mind. Let's take this outfit off. Let's get, let's get him back. There he is. Sup, ladies. Do you like this? Yeah. Look how that clings to me. Oh, baby. Okay, um, so yeah, his inventory is just full of all this different kind of stuff. Oh, some uh, PvP rewards. Nice. Look at all the runes, because remember, I played him on legendary armor, so I could rune swap as I went through the expansion. Oh, it's been a while, man. Okay, all right. Um, so he has a pristine harpy feather, so we're going to go back to the desolation on him now. Why isn't Azuric a blue skin Silvari? Because I wanted to play a human that had worshipped Balthazar in case I got special dialogue from it. Uh, you're right that that's a cool idea though. Uh, maybe I could Fashion Wars 2 a good Azuric. That might work. Um, right, so we go back to the desolation. I mean, this character's not even a year old, so it's not like I'm denying myself any crazy birthday presents just yet. Or I even care that much about birthday presents anymore. Yeah, runes and shared slots are pretty cool. When I get my second set of raiding legendary gear, I will probably uh, start messing with stuff like that. Like a selection of... Um, uh, runes that I really care about. I'll uh, have up there for, for hot swapping. Uh, been playing much of the current PvP season. One game a day. That's it. I've got... I'm still in placements, therefore. Three games left. I've won six. Lost two. No, I've won five and lost two. Uh, I'm, the lot, one of the losses was yesterday, and it was complete BS. Uh, but hey, what, what, what are you going to do? I went like, actually I can't remember what I went. I was going to say I went 10-0, but I think that might have been a different game. And lost anyway. Like, it's so annoying. When you're playing really carefully and ranked, and that's how it goes, it's like, ugh. Pulling teeth. Oh, I'm playing a lightning rod variant. That's kind of interesting. Alright. So I have a scree feather. He might even have the other thing, you know. I don't know for sure. Oh my god, somebody just gave me a donation? What the hell? You guys have been very generous today. Thank you, Kalik. Hey there, WP. A few days back, I saw the episode of the LP where you show off the cat. Uh, this cat staring at you. And it made my day. Give him some treats for me next time. LP is great so far, by the way. Have fun. Wait, wait, wait. What? 
You watched an episode where I show a cat staring at me and it- I don't even remember that. That made your day? What are you even talking about? I don't even know what that is. Did I? All I remember is showing off the Kate cats and sending them to Kate's house. What are you talking about? Hello, Devards. Does WP even know the Harem mini quest exists? What's the mini quest? I know it exists. I showed it off when the game came out. I don't know what the mini quest is. Here's the pristine harpy feather. Sweet. Please accept this token for fighting so bravely against the harpies. Okay, so the last thing. What kind of threats is devourers, right? So what is the devourer item? Honoring the fallen. It's a pristine devourer of fangs. So back to efficiency. Let's see if any of my characters have got that. Pristine devourer of fang. No. I've got tons of scree feathers, but no fangs. So where can we kill devourers in POF? Let's go back on the spellbreaker. Sorry, Azeric, but not interested, man. Um, oh, of course, he's going to be just here, isn't he? Uh, but thank you very much for that, Kalik. And you and all as well, dudes. Bang, bang, will you pull the devil trigger when it comes out? Will I pull the devil trigger? Is that a reference that I'm supposed to get? And I don't. My strength increases so power. Uh, but thank you very much. Thanks as well, Mad Minds, for the sub earlier. Take your Amazon money gladly, dude. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, where can we kill lots of devourers? It can be anywhere in PUF, but obviously this is designed for straights. So we know that there will be in straights. Yeah, like, we don't need this epic chorus just because I did three abilities on an Earth Elemental. Just BT dubs. Uh, oh, day is, is coming again, it feels like. It's got these guys. In this map down by skill point. Broken shelf in the Darklands. Does the Darklands really have a lot of devourers? Got some gazelles. That's the entrance to the Dark Lands over there. The event to kill the Forge is going on, so I'll just deal with this here. For great justice, I've you, we just got to finish off these cannons. Okay. God warriors meaty these days. I, I, I just cannot get enough of it. It's, it's so ridiculous. Power hit. I failed you. Okay, they're all dead. Probably throw the axe. There you go. 12k throw axe. Seriously. 12k for throwing that. My my lord. Okay, so I see vultures. I see some remaining forge, which we can happily blow up. Oh, we wasted full counter. No. The Mordrums say that too. Do you think that's deliberate or just sort of slightly lazy-ish writing? What do you think? This is cool. I like this as the entrance to the... You know, I joined the Order to combat the Forged, but I never understood what the Mouth of Torment really is. It's the primary entrance to the Realm of Torment, where evil souls were once banished by the gods. Long ago, Abaddon, the God of Secrets, was imprisoned within and corrupted the Realm. When Abaddon attempted to merge Torment with reality, the Mouth of Torment was created. Damn. Hey, that's kind of new lore there. Explicit confirmation that it was a prison for more than just Abaddon. I mean, we kind of knew, actually. To tell you the truth, we knew. Because the Marganites went there as well. They had cities cast there and stuff. I wonder about other things that might have been there. I wonder if Guild Wars 2 will ever give us an explanation as to what the Guardians of Kamali were. And the door of Kamali. And how that interacted with the Massar. That would be so cool. Um, right, and so now we're back in the Darklands. But there is no uh, Devourers here. There are no Devourers here, sorry. Uh, you've been thinking about trying to learn Warrior for PvP? Dude, Warrior is like a great class for PvP at the moment. It's really easy to face roll and win. But also, if you're quite precise and you sort of know the game, there's so much room to just be very, very, very godly, I think. Warrior just has so much to it. Uh, it, it its mitigation chain, chaining is just unparalleled. It's just mental. Um, you only need to learn how to use kite spots a tiny bit to cover your cooldowns and, and you can just sustain for so long. 
Never lose your 1v1s. Beat so many trash players. It's really, really, really a good class. Because it's easy to pick up and it just keeps giving and giving and giving if you keep engaging your brain and pushing it. And you've seen it. You saw in Mist. You see in the UGOs. There's lots of warriors around. Always. They're, they're a great slot. For the mini harem quest slash wiki Tibber. Alright, I'll try it. Tibber. Betrothed villager. Tibber, woman. Yeah, I... Uh, hold on. Tell Tibber about her father's death and locate her sister. Maybe I did this? I can't quite remember. I'm not just going to stand here AFK getting attacked, though, to research something. I'll look at that after the stream. That sounds pretty cool. I'll keep the tab up. Uh, still on a devourer hunt. Down by a hero challenge, someone said. Talk to the Shadows Handler. I don't think so, somehow. I need help retrieving intel reports from the Shadows dead drop locations. Lots of flax. You know, I, I'm kind of interested. When I get the Let's Play to these expansions, if I go fully exhausted of on the open world maps, it will feel like the expansions are just as big as Corteria was. Because the, the series will end up like the same length as one another. Just because you can spend all that time. Um, still nothing. Maybe I should go to another map. It's so weird. Why can't I think of anywhere that there are devourers in this entire expansion? Why, why is that not in my brain? Nowhere in the expansion do I know where the devourer is. Not in any kind of, like, cluster. I can imagine maybe seeing one or two around-ish somewhere. Did we make it? Oh, skimmer not raptor confirmed. We'll wait for energy to come back. We'll be fine, guys. We're fine. Don't you worry. This is not a problem. Uh, come on. Yeah, baby. North of Jackal Waypoint or south of the Forgotten Waypoint. There you go. Tristita has saved the day there. So with that, we know exactly where we can go. Okay. South of Forgotten Waypoint. Well, I know... Well, the Forgotten Waypoint is over here, right? We've never been to either. Let's just follow the road then and see where it leads us. I should have slashed stuck. <laughs> I don't think that feature's really for that. <laughs> we made it. It's all good. The road carries on this way. Awakened patrols. It's just occurred to me as well, they never added Mandragore, did they, with the X-Pac? Did they add Mandragore? They didn't, right? God, why am I so bad at POF? I've sunk a lot of hours into POF, and I couldn't even tell you if they added Mandragores right now. They didn't, did they? There was no Mandragores. They've got to do that with some Living World update. I really hope that soon we get Corner and there's Mandragores there. Come on. That's like a mainstay of this region. Yeah, we're going to get some Devourers. Uh, what do you think of buffing the core specialization to be as strong as elite specs? The way just playing regular warrior is viable and you don't need spec or spellbreaker or berserker. I don't know what you're talking about. You were already in that situation. You don't need spellbreaker or uh, berserker in all formats all the time. I have no idea what you're talking about. Once the thriving home of the forgotten, these ruins now only hold wandering spirits. The spirits, led by Dunkoro are challenging Joko's forces and attempting to gain ground and other advantages within the ruins. Along the sulfur chasm of the Shattered Ravine, Balthazar's forged army battles Joko's forces. Uh, yeah, we are doing it for the mastery. Yeah, we are. Awaken, hold the front line, protecting the Bone Palace and throne of Lawa Joko. What, what you're arguing for, Dargo, is like a really, like short-sighted thing you're basically saying oh i don't want the best to be the elite specs but there are situations where the best aren't the elite specs uh, several of them and continuously so over the different formats over the years and like it's, it's totally arbitrary what you're aiming for there will be a best in slot so you know you, it, it's it's kind of it's just such a fool's out it's just a waste of time what a terrible waste of time. i had devourers 
I see some. Such might for great justice. And I, I personally have always been a bit of a believer that uh, an elite spec is is welcome to be slightly overcore because there's no so just because you pick up an elite spec, why, why, why do we believe we don't? You're still two thirds core specs. Here it is, got it already. Nice. It's uh, it's like such a weird, like odd, strange thing to even ask for. You, just because you're playing a berserker, you still have discipline and strength or, or or tactics or whatever you want, right? Like they still encompass you. You're still a warrior. Like it's such a, just an odd, like I don't know. I was looking through my clips uh, a few days ago and things people have clipped. Someone asked me a silly question and my response was, I think that's really naive, but a lot of people have that opinion <laughs> and someone clipped it. That's my answer to you as well, Dark. That's like, you haven't thought very deeply about the game and, uh, but a lot of people will come out with it. But, uh, as rude as that sounds, that's genuinely how I feel. <laughs> and I don't mean that in an insulting way. <coughs> yeah, we got it. We got the Devourers. It doesn't matter if we pass anymore now. Unless you'd sent that message before we killed them. Would I welcome an elite spec with it doubles up an existing weapon? Uh, yeah, I think I'd be okay with it. But design-wise, you're now like... What you're essentially doing with that is... So if Necro gets staff again... You're actually removing their opportunity to use the old stuff at the same time. And I think that there would be, if not real design issues with that, in that it's just like a bit of an oddity and an outlier compared to other elite specs and the clarity of the system. I think you'd get a lot of people whining about it online. Uh, even unnecessarily so, whining is still whining. So I, I don't know whether they should really do it. I don't know whether it offers enough. Uh, if they added a whole thing where it was like, yeah, you can be a staff with a, a staff staff vampire and the the vampire staff skills are available and the original mark skills are available it's all they if they could do build all this infrastructure to be able to do that in the system but again it's like i, I how exciting is that really for the development time of doing all of that it's not necessary so i'd rather when they get to the point that they're so running out of weapons that they need to do stuff like that they need to start doubling up that's the day that they absolutely should start implementing scythes and stuff because that's way more exciting to people anyway and would be of similar you know effort what if potatoes is being mean to the audience should i ban him <laughs> what happens if you try to ban me rav what happens what what error message do you get because surely you get one you appreciate you're a bit naive about Guild Wars. You only recently got back into it. I was thinking, what would it take for people to feel comfortable about having three core specializations consistently instead of feeling like they need to go for an elite spec on that third time? Well, the way to make people feel that is to make them smarter about the game and realize that uh, their pissy little time in raids is not the be-all and end-all of meta. Uh, so to diversify the experiences players have, to teach them more about build craft... And then people would realize, oh, Core Thief's been amazing in PvP for ages. Oh, Core Guard's really good in PvP. Oh, I can do all of the Core story and the Living World story it's and the stuff on any combination of any three specs I like. Oh, maybe I shouldn't tunnel vision and pigeonhole myself into this tiny little thing. And then ask the devs to acquiesce to that, you know, bent philosophy. It's, uh, it's about educating people. It's not about actually changing the game. I think, anyway. Um, right, almost there. Cool, three months. Training on Twitch. It's good to see you. You can never come up with something witty. You don't need to come up with something witty. I'll come up with the witty. That's what everyone's here for. The wit, right? I mean, surely if you think wooden potatoes, the first word you think is not loser. It's wit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there you go. And I'm sure you found my response right there very witty too. My dump stat is intelligence. Oh, or initiative, which, is, which, which are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Salute. I'm quite excited about this. Greetings, I'm First Beard Devard. It's good to see a friendly face again. We don't 
don't get too many villagers, uh, visitors. Villagers? I have the pristine fang you asked for. You weakened the threat of the devourers. Here, take this token of our gratitude. Thanks for the, uh... Mastery point that I'm never going to use or care about, but that's cool. Now, um, we got a mini as well, Divard, which we can account bind. Should we do another one? This is that was quite fun actually. Uh, if unrewarding, let's try. We got some Ellen Riverlands one. Use my newly earned skimmer to help those in need throughout the Riverlands. Given by Defector Haroon in the Southwest Prophet's Path for recovering his medical supplies. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do skimmer search, baby. Because I never did that either. Uh, wait, where did it say they were? Which waypoint are we going to be looking for? Southwest Prophet's Path. Hmm. So Southwest would be down here. Somewhere-ish. So Skimmer Ranch is probably the best place to go. You guys can come for this as well. This is events, I think, so. Not necessarily metas or big ones, so I should be able to solo them. But if you want to come, you're more than welcome. Do I have the Sunspear outfit? Yeah, I do. I, I got that edition of POF, yeah. Do you want me to wear it? <laughs> um, I, I suppose we can for this stream, because it's not actually technically a big part of the main thing. Uh, where is it? Whoa. Outfits. Sun Sphere. Oh, we're in black and red. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is the outfit. I would put it back to white and gold, but screw it. What happens when a corpse is awakened after its spirit is left? Awakened? I don't know. I, I don't know. what What is the idea with the awake, uh, awakened... Uh, I, I guess they can't. Can they awaken stuff when the spirit's gone? Is that the point that they can't? That's what Zaitan did. Zaitan just took meat, just took corpses, and reanimated them, and they were they were husks. But the awakened have souls in them, right? I can't remember what the, what we see and learn at the necropolis. When we get moving again, how can we avoid the forged? We'll have to head east. Hopefully, we're far enough north to avoid the awakened. But at least the forged left us alive. Are you sure risking a run-in with the Awakened is better? I honestly don't know. But if nothing else, Augury Rock should offer better cover than Open Desert. Besides, we'll have to head through Destiny's Gorge anyway to get to Amnoon. Okay, they go in? Because they, these are the people I need to help. A bell sent me with instructions on how to get around the forge. Thanks, but we can't go. We're camped in the north of here. We were attacked by bats and fled. We lost our medical supplies. Without them, we won't make it. Oh, so I gotta go get them their medical supplies. But is it an event or is it Do I just take my own initiative and do it? I love how this guy is hiding in the shade of a defeated creature. That's so so cool. Uh catch you later, Zuali. It was good to see you, man. Did the afflicted technically die? Um I can't remember that either. I can't remember that either. I think the idea is that they couldn't die because they because they had no like way of being shepherded or whatever, so they just kind of got a bit fucked. I think maybe. Right, another raiding party. Let's deal with this one. Look, we get off of the skimmer with the endurance, uh, with the adrenaline already for a full counter. We're gonna have to heal quite quickly here. Another one. Wow. Wow, a group that big and none of them even attacked me. Oh my god, and then I just balls rushed into the wall. If I can land this full thing before the next one, we might go down here, guys. What is this? Oh my god, the the too intelligent. The game is too smart. Uh, rally, rally, rally. Yeah, we'll be fine. There it is. Jesus Christ. What? It's not even forged. It's killing me. It's just hordes of scarabs and things. Look at this. Oh, Elite Mazomba breaches sand and creates tornadoes. For great justice. Let me... Yeah. Oh, wait, we only get T1. That's annoying. That's just a regular set armor there as well. Oh my god, those tornadoes are mental! What?! 
I'm dead. I'm, that's it. Unless I can rally on the scarab. We might not even have time to vengeance because this next tornado is going to rip us to pieces. Look at that. Wow. Wow. The desert is a scary mistress. What race is this character? This is a Norn. He's a big lad. What were the uh, unchained, the eyes, the mouths? Yeah, so I think Zaitan actually did a bit of a mix, right? Because the uh, because they were the kings and queens of all. The, the, they were the royalty, and that's what they became. So there is something left of them, I think. Like, you defeat the eye, and King Razor comes out sort of thing. So there, there definitely is that going on. Um, Another raiding party? I don't know. what It's got to be... Do I just have to wait with them? I'm going to go up to the caves. I know what cave system they're talking about as well, you know. I really do. I know exactly what they're talking about. We threw the axe. There's the second wave coming up now. And quickness will counter that one. Look how efficiently we dealt with that. And they're just regular forged over there. Not associated with any event. Cannonade. That's the script event. Yeah, I'm going up. I'm not going to fight the horrible beast that's there. We're just going to keep going. New question. What's the point of the crosshair during fights? I've never seen that before. It tells you what range stuff is. So, um, this, this, this scarab, when the, uh, when the, uh, the, the diagonal lines are like that, it means I don't have a target. When I take my target, you get the ring. And when we're in range with our target, if you watch... The, uh, the thing rotates. Do you see the diagonal lines become nor the cardinal lines? Do you see that? Uh, and that tells you. So just... And it's not that you'll be deciphering that constantly. But as you play combat mode, you will just naturally in the back of your head start to get muscle memory and learn this kind of stuff. And so the crosshair can just teach you what range all your skills are. While conventional players have to rely on like looking at very specific red lines at the bottom of their... Um, Thing. This is only for so auto attacks anyway, power. so it's not like you really get a leg up. But yeah, that, that's the idea of it. <laughs> Nerdy PG says, stop the rank, get to the point. I had three more comments on those lines yesterday, and I'm pretty sure it was people who watched at the stream who wanted to go troll me. Um, uh, so yeah, that was fun. Right. This lady was a different one. There's a downstate human here. So, I'm guessing that if there's medical supplies, it's going to be here. Oh, he's a scepter weaver. I wonder if they're friends playing together for the first time in a long time. Oh, we just synchronized got on that skiver. That looks so cool. Kill the djinn. Maybe he drops it. I'm so of course, aren't I? This isn't how Guild Wars works. Oh my god, what? He teleport- Oh, I got played so hard there. For great justice. That was good. Oh my god, I, I, I'm out of range. I can't hit a lot of this stuff. I can feel Forgotten power. debris? Is it going to be in this, do you think? Oh, you prick. Oh, these guys are going to leave now as well. I need to equip like a rifle or something. Oh, thanks, Bulls Charge. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that's so pathetic. That's so annoying. They're definitely not going to be there when I get back now. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's make sure we have a rifle next time. I had, no I had nothing I could do there. That's the problem. I had no way of actually dealing with them. Let's equip a Charzooka. No sigils on it, but it's, it's still... That's such bullcrap. And the way they look, they look like they were on the edge. So I thought I could just get to the edge and uh, um, CC it. But I'd stay like on the edge of the thing. But no, it rocketed me off down quite a steep cliff as well. Who wants to learn about the content guide next? <laughs> I think I am going to do a thing in the uh, Let's Play about that eventually. 
Look, if you don't come to a WP stream for the rants, what are you here for? The insightful commentary? Question mark. Are they not one and the same, my friend? All I offer is insightful commentary, such as when I couldn't do basic maths the other day. That was cool. Anyone remember that? Cost seems sentient in daybreak, but I loosely remember them saying that's all that left of Amala's power she can shot, so maybe it's a bit of a mix. Yeah, I think they're just non-specific about it a lot. Or if they are specific, they've done a terrible job because I tried to follow this game's story quite closely and I'm not even very uh, fully sure about the details. Okay, so this guy's just going to teleport out into the sand. That's so annoying. Look at it. He's doing it already. For great justice. If that AoE's still there, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll deliberately bait it. That's good. Okay, good. He comes back. I think he must have scaled before as well, you know. And those other players weren't hitting him because we just ripped him to pieces there. Okay, so forgotten debris. Here we go. No, there's nothing. I didn't think there'd be anything. Trade cash. We're not really in a cave, though. It'll fetch Is there a, a cave up price. here? I seem to remember a cave system here. I remember this as well, the, the quicksand. God, we moved so fast since they updated it. That's still surprising me. After about a month since the patch went in, that's still surprising me every time I go rocketing around. There's a Crescent Arbiter. I kind of want to fight him just to see how he feels. Great justice. So much power. Oh, he drops the friggin' sand things. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. I should run Featherfoot Grace, honestly. Might. Especially against the Awakened, it's actually worth running resistance. Strength I really training. think it is. So that's the dangerous one, dead. They still don't attack fast enough. For great justice. Give me energy. Did I just fly past the cave? No, there's a little cave. If you're thinking about behind the Sunspear Woman. That's not like a deep cave complex there. It's just a little room behind her where she camps. That's not a deep cave there. If you're looking at that tiny entrance and assuming that you know the answer, that, that's that's definitely not the cave cave. I don't think so anyway. Also, it'd be really strange to have one mastery point because she has her own whole quest thing that she does uh, like weirdly connected to another, wouldn't it? Uh, if tomorrow there's no trailer, you'll start to panic. I won't panic, but I will for the first time be a bit upset that it's getting a bit late. I, I probably won't be hysterical or anything, but, uh, like this, it's just a little room, see? It's not a big deep cave or anything. Am I talking about the cave that leads to Kesho? No, but maybe that's what the NPCs are talking about. We got this hero challenge here as well I haven't done, so I might as well grab that. Uh, maybe that's what they're talking about. A uh, sand lion. Where is the lion? That's kind of funny. This took a while to update his health, so it looked like it had bugged for a second. And I realized that none of those bugs really existed with POF. They plagued Core and Heart of Thorns. They were everywhere, but POF, I didn't really see any of them. That's great. That's really cool. Oh, we're on rifle now. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, rifle's kind of boring on a uh, spellbreaker. It kind of feels so anti-synergistic to be forced into a T1 kill shot. Okay, well, we got that. That's that's fun, I guess. Any caves over there? Oh, I see. So standstormy. There is another cave north along the mountain range. Are we actually just... But here's the thing. I don't know whether they just got an event that they trigger. Th th this is what's throwing me off. I'm being like half and half with my thoroughness. There is another cave on the northern thing. So, all right. Let's go over there then. Kill shots are fun skill. And a gun flame. Both of those are fun for world versus world montages and stuff. They're pretty funny. Get some piercing AoE kill shots or whatnot. What not? Can you trade kill shot to pierce? I, I don't know. Does it even need to be traded at this point? I think there used to be a, 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 a piercing trait for rifle. Is that up there behind the awaken? Maybe. But again, like the reason why I didn't want to come here is because this is a different mastery point. It just doesn't make any sense to say I'll go to this mastery point to get another mastery point. There's no caves there. I did not see it along the northern face there. 
I think you have to pour it in with the wolf. It's east from there. Oh, really? Okay. You would be wise to well, that's the sand, the quicksand we saw before. We never fully scanned all along this before, so I'll do this. How did he hit me? I was in the middle of my action. I see no cave entrances along here. Yesterday after you event, the event like spawned after like 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's the thing though, right? Oh, I think what I remembered as caves was actually this area down here. Is there a chance they'd have medical supplies in here? I think this is what I remember as the caves, that, that labyrinth. I wonder. It would be really easy to hide a cave down here, right? It would be really easy to have a little entrance. Sadly, I don't see anything. We can keep going east. I mean, technically, this is still the route to um, Noon, sort of. This looks like a cave. There's someone standing there. Is this a cave? Oh, hello. Bandits. Oh, and just some forgotten debris. I've never seen this before. This little area, this is a new thing for me in Pondfire. I've never seen this. And I've never seen desert bandits like this. Poisoned weapons. He basically just has infinite venom. Great. Oh my god, I got a mini from it. Mini mini Deputy Ayub. But I've already got that, so that's a shame. Okay, well there's no medical supplies here. Though this guy did spawn and throw a thing at me in time to cancel that. Are you serious? I already completed the challenge. Oh my god, I keep forgetting I got rifle. I already completed the challenge. Let me pick my loot up. There we go. We got a single trader's key and some contracts. Not 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 what we were looking for. Oh yeah, there are bandits in the meta in Amnoon, that's true. I wasn't saying I'd never seen bandits, but I think on this map I don't think I've seen them. Or not got close enough to appreciate them. This isn't right, guys. So you, you're talking about this. Natalie's been in here. I don't even remember coming here, Natalie, but Natalie has been in here. Are there medical supplies in here? There's a chest. Come and get me. So much power. You get back. Kill shot. Yeah, like it's not worth it. I mean, that was a 4K non crit. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, and again, there wouldn't be medical supplies in here because there's already a mastery point in here. I will stay just to get that chest over there. Kill him. For great justice. <sighs> this is bad. Oh, I'm price. gonna get killed. Oh my god, we're so lucky we're a warrior there. Down to 30 health. Jesus. There's even more. Rune Forge's chest. Let's open this up. Oh god, we got something. Riddle of the Firebrand. What illuminates may also blind. Cool. Forgotten debris up there. Look, but look, this is not right. This is not it. The cave's kind of interesting though, by the way. Got some of the, the one of these old shattered golden building uh, statues. Why, Dwayne? Why the gods have fled? Your prayers are in vain. Jesus. For great justice. I like how that comes from the commander who, at this point in the story, has done the, Cor the Cormir library. So it's just like so brutal. I mean, we're a Norn, so I can kind of understand not caring that much, but wow. 
Yeah, Renegade plus 50. <laughs> that should be a ferocity option, but they don't they don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Yeah, Lotus, you did get me something. That's kind of cool, dude. All right. Well, I'll go back to the NPCs now, and uh, I'm basically going to sit there and see if an event will spawn. Uh, but, guys, um, I think I'm going to leave it there, because I want to finish editing this video, and I've already explained at great length how many things are on the table for today. Uh, also, I know some of you guys might be interested in the World Cup, which is starting in 20 minutes. So, you can spend this time to uh, relax, calm down off of the incredible high that was watching a water potato stream. <laughs> Uh, you know, catch your breath again after you've just spent an hour and 40 minutes swooning. And uh, I will see you all probably on YouTube very soon. Uh, well, I'll do some other stuff, but you can spend that time to, you know, maybe get some snacks ready. Get some Doritos, some dip, pizza, whatever you want to uh, watch England uh, do poorly in the group stages. It's going to be really fun. And um, I'll be... Have one eye on it probably while I edit. <laughs> and then contacting boots. But there you go, guys. Uh, that, that's going to be the end of the stream, I'm afraid. Wow, thanks, Mr. Lion. Uh, thanks for the advice and stuff, guys. I know it's been a bit crap. I know today and yesterday's have been a bit crap. Hopefully, you found something interesting in some of the anecdotes. Uh, but that's just life at the moment, really. Um, efforts are going into other things. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate you and all, Calic3, and Dog. You guys all. I, I can't believe you offered donations. Thank you very much. If you guys want to see when our nates go live, you can click follow. The people we sub today also are complete bosses. Jesus, Path of Fire has such over aggro syndrome. Look at this. I actually cannot escape these mobs. I can't do it. Oh, wrong button. I can't even move him to keep him away. I should run Marauders. I really think that's probably the best set, the best set out here. Just get more vitality. Or bring some daggers back so I can start critting and getting health from the crits. Uh, but yeah, alright guys, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And um, I'll see you very shortly. Cheers guys.